Hi there, this is Analytical Chick. Today we are going to talk a little bit about some pro-life voting and using the left's organizations against them. So recently this video came out, Project Veritas did a video on uh, Claire McCaskill from Missouri and they were saying she gets money from Planned Parenthood but she can't get it from Planned Parenthood. So she gets it from Emily's List. Who is Emily's List? Well, that's... We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about who's, so pulling up their website, you get, you know, just basic, they want people to run, um, they are hardcore on their sites, talking about flipping the seat, flipping the sentence, they have a YouTube channel too, um, there's a Wikipedia article about them. Mostly, I'm just going to show you what there is, and I'm going to link it in the description about them. They have their candidates. Um, one thing I want to pull up. So, you'll see that under their candidates, I brought up the Senate, Diane Feinstein, Maisie Hirono. These are two who were pretty loudmouth, and I don't, I, I had never really heard of Maisie Hirono before this. So these two were in particular loudmouths in this whole Kavanaugh thing. I don't, I don't know if they were the only women. I should go back and look if they were the only women on the Senate Judiciary Committee. But you'll see that a lot of these women that are like loudmouths of leftists, like Pocahontas here, is apparently endorsed by this group. So, um, actually, just a thought. I hadn't even thought to check this before. Oh. No, she's not on there. You know who I was looking for? She's not on there. I'm surprised. Um, so this is, this is a political action committee to try and get women elected on the Democratic ticket, but they have to be pro-choice. Now, one thing I noticed was I, I'm i willing to bet all of them. I cross-checked some of these. There's also another way you can look people up is you can actually, Planned Parenthood has a scorecard for how pro pro-abortion somebody votes. So if you're in if you're a pro-life voter and you want to know if a Democrat is actually pro-life and they've already been in office, so this works for men and women. Emily's choice is just for women. And Emily's choice can be candidates who are, haven't already been in office. But anyone who has already been in office, uh, you can look up on Planned Parenthood. So like even if somebody's running for Senate or governor. And they've already been in office, say, as a congressperson, you can still look you can look them up on Planned Parenthood because they're gonna have senators and congress people. Um, I don't think yeah, they don't have governors. But so so you can see the Democrats pretty much have a hundred percent. But another thing that I noticed is that some of these like I live in New York. I mod a Facebook group for New York. Um, it won't open now. Before there was a like it would decollapse. If you would click on it like that, it would decollapse into a list of bills and whether this person voted in the manner that Planned Parenthood considered a good manner or not. So a lot of these organizations have these groups. So we can use their information against them. So we can actually look at the information they put out to their pro-abortion people where they're saying like, oh, look and see if this person votes good, votes good on their scorecard. So it's the flip, you know, if they get a good score from Planned Parenthood, like this guy has a 32 and he's a Republican, whereas a lot of the other Republicans have zero percent so what's going on with this guy that he is 32 percent in bed with Planned Parenthood so that's something that I want to look at where 
District 24 is. I want to try to get information out to District 24. Maybe, maybe it's, it's, you know, not that Republican of a district. But, I mean, you see where we had the senator in a fairly red state, Missouri. We had the senator. Let's see, go back to um, Claire McCaskill. And I'm going to pull it up on here. So Missouri is basically a state where they are they are pro life, and yet you had you had you know you have one senator who has a zero from Planned Parenthood, another one that has a hundred percent. So I mean, even if you don't know which way the state goes, you know that one of these senators is not representing the state values. And, of course, from the Project Veritas video, we know that Claire McCaskill is, in fact, lying and pretending that she's a moderate. And so we can use the left's own websites against them to see that she is, in fact, not a moderate because moderates don't get 100% rating from Planned Parenthood, as well as moderates don't get endorsed by, you know, this, um, where is she? Here we go. Moderates don't get endorsed by this Emily's list. So you can look people up. There's a lot of information. I'm obviously not going to read it all on here. Also, another thing I wanted to mention was you see a lot for people who are more politically knowledgeable. You've probably noticed that they say working a lot. Like in New York State, we have a party. I don't know if it's all across every state, but in New York State, we have a party called the Working Families Party. It's like a communist party. So working and working families, that's usually code for we're communists um, and far left bent. So what everybody would want to know is going to be, they want to know who finances it. So let's get into it. So we have here, I found this site now, it is showing itself to be tied to this Center for Media and Democracy, which sounds pretty much like, um, it sounds like it's a leftist group to me. In fact, let me open up their homepage and see what indications we have. Um, they track corporations and PR spin. Um... Let's see. Okay, so it is left bent because they're talking about they don't like the Koch brothers, and that's the left keeps saying that the right is financed by the Koch brothers. But in case you don't know this, we really aren't. They're kind of like wishy washy neoconish. Sometimes libertarian, but not really because libertarian is supposed to be hands off and they're not really hands off unless it's like something light, light in the, um, you know, where you're going light on things, but you're teaching libertarian principles. Essentially they're part of the other side. They're like maybe liberal, um, centrist in our mentality. They're definitely not about standing up for all the things going wrong. They're like me, oh, let's do it back like 10 years instead of like, uh, no, here's some things that unraveled in the 60s and things that unraveled along the way. All right, so Emily's list, and like I said, this is put out by the left itself. And you get down to funding, and you see that they are members of this Democracy Alliance. So, um, and they're tied, you can see, like, tied to these different groups. Progressive Donor Network. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open Democracy Alliance. Actually, I already did. I'm going to click on it. So, this is funded by a Clinton person, and you go down... Members self-identified or identified in published articles include. Oh look, look who's on the bottom there, down there. 
it's George Soros! Dun 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 dun! And the left says we're crazy. Yeah, we're not. Um, so funding recipients, all the, you know, far left bend crazy pants, you know, Center for American Progress, Center for Progressive Leadership. Like, what are they progressing towards? They are progressing off a cliff. <laughs> uh, Media Matters, we know that that's bad. Um... You know, they target women, they target young people. And then also I did some Googling, found this article, found a couple articles from Politico that I'm going to highlight. So Politico is actually considered a slightly left bent, um, what are they, a newspaper, magazine? I don't know, technically. They're online, I've read them online. So they're, they're normally... The left normally approves of Politico, but occasionally I've seen stuff on Politico and I've seen people, other YouTubers, talk about stuff put out on Politico that's actually um, friendly to our side. So, Soros bans with donors to resist Trump and take back power. And a uh, nice little picture of Soros there. Just in case somebody didn't know what Soros looks like, that's, that's actually an old picture because I think that his um, eye bags are much more pronounced nowadays. Um, so, and so even Politico is saying like George Soros and all these other li rich liberals spend tens of millions of dollars trying to, you know, basically promote leftism. They wanted to get Hillary. You know, um, you see that all of these groups were pretty much tied to, this is a very long article, I'll link it in the description. Uh, you see here that includes Soros, and like I said, Soros is um, listed there in um, this... And we looked up, this is the, this is the same, and I'll show you, this is the same uh, media and democracy that I used over here um, for Emily's list that I pulled up the tab of the main site, and they're complaining about um, Koch Brothers, so that's how we know that they're on the left, because the left complains about Koch Brothers. Um, the right mostly doesn't know who he is, or they know that he's pretty much ineffective, supposedly on our side, but not really, if they know who he is. So that's that article. And then here's another one, uh, The Left's Secret Club, <laughs> and it talks about this democracy alliance, and um, Tom Steyer, now if you, and you should... Also, subscribe to Halsey News Network, Halsey Media, those two um, YouTube channels. I collab with him a lot. He's another Orthodox Jew who does politics on YouTube. I, actually, I found him on YouTube. I've never met him in person or anything. But we collab a lot because there's not that many Orthodox Jews outside of Ben Shapiro, who's, you know, way above us in the subscription level, like, he would not be collabing with us, because he has, what, um, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and, you know, you're, here we are with, like, a thousand subscribers a piece or so. I think Halsey has 2,000, but anyway. So, Halsey talks about the Steyer brothers with his co-host, Dustin, a lot of the time, and that's Tom Steyer, who's listed right here, Tom Steyer, and there's also a Jim Steyer, and in fact, at one point, I started a video, and I never ended up finishing it, but I started a video on Tom Steyer. He was the one who did, you may have heard about it, it was floating around, like, Facebook and Twitter um, in the political sections, in the conservative political sections of, in our echo chamber, it was floating around that Tom Steyer funded this, like, massive, gigantic, um, billboard in Times Square that was like impeach Trump and he was running all kinds of commercials on TV like sign our petition to impeach Trump and he's a uh, really into climate change and his brother Jim Steyer he more focuses on um mind fucking the children 
Uh, but, you know, claiming that he's protecting them, of course. Like, you know, like, oh, this is a safe uh, TV show for kids. And you go to the TV show and it's like a tranny, like, you know, trannies for kids or something like that. Like, anyway. Um, Jonathan Soros, I meant to look him up. I believe that's George Soros' son. Actually... Uh, five children, including Jonathan and Alexander. Jonathan Soros is... So he's worked for his dad and stuff, and he's prominent donor to democ Democratic and Progressive. Like I said, where are they progressing? They're progressing us off a cliff. So, um... Yeah, inspire citizen population... Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, so they name him, so he's involved, too, with this Democracy Alliance. And, now you see, this was this women's march, in case you don't know, this was, like, just one big shit show of leftyism. So, Planned Parenthood, this NRDC here, this is, like, a climate, climate bullshit, um, and you actually see that you go down way down here, even down more. Here we go. Um, Emily's list. You'll see that they were a participant. So, um, and then also a lot of demo democracy, this, that, and the other thing. Democratic Socialists of America, they were tied to this Women's March. So, um, I think everybody, everybody should actually take a look. There, you see there's tons and tons of, oh, look, and a bunch of, oh, grassroots. And a lot of these things, they say grassroots, but they're not really grassroots. Grassroots is supposed to mean, like, somebody starts emailing their friends and say, like, let's do something about this, and it just kind of, like, you know, when they say grassroots, what they really mean is big money was thrown into it, but it's not supposed to mean that. Um, global Citizen, they do these concerts. Um, I know Metallica did one of the Global Citizen concerts. Like, they were one of the participants. And on Metallica's website, a lot of people were commenting, like, why are they involved in this bullshit? Like, Metallica fans were not interested. And this was before I knew, like, what an SJW was. So, um, and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, I was, like I, I've said before, I was on the right politically, but, like, I wasn't aware of a lot of stuff. I mean, I would read the news and I would have a right-wing reaction to it. So I would have right-wing reactions to the left stream news. Like, in particular, Yahoo, because... Every time I would go in to go to my email, I would go to the main Yahoo site before I would click mail, and I would see these, you know. Anyway, I've talked about this before. And I just want to point out, 80%, um, so it says 80% of women, I think it's also 80% of all people uh, are against late-term abortions. And yet, we have all these people voting for the Democratic Party, and that's what they support. Democrat, left position, politicians, and Emily's List, that's what they're supporting. So, um, I'm going to try to do more research to cover how, um, how uh, if I can find more funding information for Emily's List, or maybe I'll look into this Democracy Alliance more. But that's w what I wanted to cover for now. So anyways, thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time. Oh, well, need to be away from the